Welcome back. It's must-win time for Chivas when RSL comes to town. Real Salt Lake were in a slump, losing four of their last five games. A team that went into the season boasting one of the deepest rosters, the Claret and Cobalt were struggling with injuries and continuity. Jason Kreiss made it clear that players needed to step up or they would be looking for new teams. Chivas hoped to take advantage of RSL's poor form. Their midweek loss dealt a huge blow to the GOAT's playoff chances, but a victory at home would put them right back in the hunt. Robin Frazier rested Juan Pablo Angel against Portland, so the goal scorer was ready to go on Saturday night. Mark Rogandino and Kyle Martino were at the Home Depot Center when the teams took the field. So we are set to begin in the first half here at the Home Depot Center on the campus of Cal State Dominguez Hills. The Jewish USA bench, Ante Jazzy. Dangerous ball, Sabaria will try and attack it. Sabaria with the chance to open the game scoring, and he will, it's one nothing RSL. Junior Lopez just jogging to get to this ball. Right then is when he realizes that Sabarillo's gaining ground on him. Whiffs the tackle to go in, and it's a loose ball here from Jazik, but it just doesn't take full speed until he realizes that Sabarillo's there, and it's too late at that point. Ball all the way across, Flores trying to slip it across the first time. A chance! Ramondo with the save, spills it, but right back on it, the veteran keeper. Well, great fake shot there. Flores gets it back on the right foot, shoots it through the defender. And lead for the rest of the guys around them. It's, it's this, the wide position. It is on hell, that's where he likes it. Brings it across on his left foot, off the ball from the Colombian. And this is how he makes up for his lack of mobility, is when he gets around the 18, unbelievable technique, takes that ball down off the chest. But watch this. Gets over the ball, great volley with his opposite foot. On hell, good touch in the direction of Labroca. Maybe a chance for Labroca to get it from behind. And that is a takedown from Nat Borchers and a straight red. Well, it was started with a misplayed ball, and Borchers, a veteran player who's been so consistent for Real Salt Lake, right here, reaches in with that left arm, definitely pulls Labroca down. Flores has an asking for it back. Here goes ball right into the gloves of Ramondo. Waiting for the run from the spin to the flag stays down. The Argentine with his left footed shot and Kennedy there. Trujillo back central looking for La Broca. Let's it run through here for Angel. Onto his right foot. Angel! And it's pushed away by Ramondo. Well, this is a great touch from Juan Pablo Angel after the dummy to get himself that separation. And what a rip. And you can see it dip at the last moment. Third corner of the night for Chivas USA. Mondaini. Ramondo might have skipped off the crossbar, still unable to clear her. RSL, Olave collides with Schuler inside the area. And here's that last effort that just hits off the bar. And then the ball pops up after the missed clearance, and you see right there, two players going right in on each other, and a high foot, it was what ends up being the yellow card effect. And Olave gobbled up anything that's floated into the box. Closing seconds of the match, and there's Kevin Stott's final whistle. It wasn't the prettiest, but RSL come away 1-0 winners at the HDC. The East continued their struggles against Western Conference teams as all three top teams fell. Chicago jumped out of the basement with their fourth win of the season. The wide-open conference race will surely lead to high drama in the coming weeks. Out West, Seattle and Dallas had statement wins to claim a spot with LA as the elite clubs of the league. Chivas and San Jose didn't do themselves any favors by dropping points. And Vancouver's victory over Houston is the definition of too little, too late. While the top two goal scorers will have to wait to face off because of Hurricane Irene, there were some additions to the scoring pack. Last year's Golden Boot winner Chris Wondolowski got to nine with his equalizer. And surprise addition Dominic Oduro is at a statement year, also tallying his ninth so far. Next Tuesday, the U.S. Open Cup Finals will be set. The semis see Chicago take on the USL side Richmond Kickers at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Then Seattle look to defend their Open Cup dominance against Dallas at 10. Check out MLSsoccer.com for all the coverage. International fixtures mean next week's league schedule is incredibly light. 
With only two games on the docket, the weekend sees Real Salt Lake and Philadelphia Union go toe-to-toe -to -toe at 9 p.m. Eastern. Then on Monday, Sporting takes on Arrested Galaxy side on Fox Soccer at 5 p.m. That's it for Week 24 of the MLS Review Show. We'll return in two weeks with even more postseason pressure. For more action, log on to MLSsoccer.com. Thanks for watching.